Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. Sheep and goats. Sheep and goats. Now you may be wondering, SD, why in the hell are you talking about sheep and goats? That's a good question. That's a valid question. I'm, I'm going to get to that. First, I'm going to break down some differences between sheep and goats that you may not know. Now, from first glance, it's very, very difficult to tell the difference between a sheep and a goat. Not many can do it. They look alike. They look like they're one and the same from first glance. But when you look deeper, when you get closer, you realize, no, no, they're, they're different. They're different. They actually have some major differences, uh, which you'll notice once you start really getting intimate and building with these, these two. And you start noticing the temperament differences, the eating differences, the behavior differences. You start noticing how uh, the breed is different. The intellect is different. The family structure is different. It's different. But at first glance, they look alike. Some major differences is, uh, one would be the tail. There's one way you can tell the difference, the tail. The sheep has a downward tail, the goat has an upper tail. His tail points upwards. Uh, the lip. The sheep has a distinctive curve with the top lip. The goat does not have a distinctive curve with the top lip. Now, if you're in a certain community, a black community, you will know that we will call you a goat mouth mofo. <laughs> a goat mouth mofo. That's a huge thing in the black community. Goat mouth. Yeah, nobody wants to be called a goat mouth. No, no, man. No, no fighting words. So that's another distinct difference. The way they engage the males, the way the males engage in fighting. You know, a, uh, a ram, a male sheep will go head to head. A ram, yeah, a ram head to head. It's a male sheep. A male goat, a buck, he will go rear down and jump up and then come down on you. Major difference. You know, uh, I'm sure they sustain different injuries. I would think the sheep will sustain major injuries at, at a higher frequency than the goat. Just because the way it engages in contact and fighting. Head to head. Another difference, the way they eat. Yeah, the, the sheep likes to graze. It eats low to the ground. The goat eats high to the ground. It browses. He's high to the ground. It gets the shrub and the weeds and the leaves from the high or the top layer of the plant. The sheep eats low to the ground. Now, that's very important because the sheep is more susceptible to encountering parasites. Yeah, encountering pasture parasites because it eats low. So any kind of worms, it's going to encounter that. So you got to be careful with that with the sheep because it's low to the ground, eats low to the ground. Whereas the goat eats high, eats at the top layer of the plant. Intellect, man, the, the 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 sheep is known to be kind of slow, but it has a lot to do with its upbringing, its environment, and the goat is thought to be intelligent, but that has a lot to do with its upbringing, its environment. The goat is very curious, right? Very independent. The sheep is a flocking animal; it loves to flock. It's a follower. That's where it gets his confidence. It's very insecure. It gets his confidence being in the flock, being in the group. 
Whereas the goat is very independent and curious. It will take chances. It will venture out on its own to see what's out there for it. That's just the makeup of the goat and the sheep, the difference. And then I thought about this. You know, wow, I was reading this. And I said, that is us. That is mankind in a nutshell. Sheep and goats. Sheep and goats. A lot of us, including myself, have been or are currently attached to people who resemble us at first glance. We look alike at first glance. But as you get deeper and as you get to know this person, as you become intimate or romantic, whatever relationship is, platonic or romantic, once you get closer, you realize that we really don't look quite the same. And when you get even closer, you realize there are some major differences between us. Major differences. And it holds us back from reaching our full potential. It holds us back for from being on our mission, being on our purpose, it holds us back because we're attached to people we shouldn't be attached to. Now, I'm not saying the sheep person or the goat person is bad or good. What I'm saying is sheep should be with sheep. Goats should be with goats. Period. Period. They may look the same at first glance. You may have known this person your entire life. They may be a family member. Uh, you may be married to this person. But let me tell you, man. If you have a sheep-goat relationship, it will not work. No way will it work. It's not possible. Now, the thing with sheep and goats, man. Is rare. It's rare for them to mate. They just don't. For the most part, they don't mate. Because they don't belong together. They do not mate. In the rare times, it's reported that they did mate. The baby was stillborn. Stillborn. Now, scientists, doctors, have uh, involved themselves in mating a hybrid, creating a hybrid. But they had to get involved with that. That's science, right? But nature, by nature standards, if you keep everything within nature, these two do not mate. And when they try to, when they try to procreate, the baby is stillborn. The animal is stillborn. Man, we are in some relationships right now, man, where we cannot procreate our dreams. We cannot create our ideals. We cannot manifest our dreams because we're attached to somebody who we should not be attached to. And we keep birthing stillborns. Nothing healthy. Nothing that's going to grow, materialize, maturate. Nothing. Nothing that's going to grow to be a full adult, to, to procreate itself. Stillborn. Because we're out of sync. We're not equally yoked. We look the same on paper. We look, we look good on paper. We look good aesthetically. But when you dive deeper, you realize, man, there are some major differences. And we should not be attached to one another. Because we don't look at life the same. We don't want the same thing. We don't want the same thing spiritually. We don't even want the same thing materially, materialistically. We don't want the same thing. This person's eating low to the ground. This person's eating high off the ground. This person is independent and curious and confident. This person loves to be in the crowd and insecure and has to be around people, has to be motivated by people has to have friends, has to be reassured. They're totally different people. And that's where the conflict comes. So how can these two people, these two friends, uh, this marriage, this, this family member, whatever the relationship is, how can these two people build and birth an idea 
It's not possible. It's going to be stillborn. It'll never take off and maturate. Never. It'll never do it because we're out of sync. We're not. We're not equally yoked. Man, I used to go to this spot. Low eating spot. Low vibrational spot. This is about, man, uh, this had to be about 20 years ago. I used to go to this spot. And just being transparent, I would go to this spot because there was low hanging fruit. If I didn't want to be challenged, I didn't want to uh, have to chase, engage, go to this spot, you're leaving with something. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I knew this was low-level fruit. I knew I ate high. I knew I was a goat. I knew these were sheep. I knew this. And I consciously went there because it was easy. Now, one time, I brought one of my boys there. And he had never been. And he's checking the place out. And he's like, He's like, book, why are we here? I'm like, what do you mean? He said, man, come on, bro. He's like, man, you make six figures. He's like, I make six figures. You manage several people. He's like, I'm in management. He was a conductor. He drove trains. Trains go state from state. He was a conductor. Uh, and... What he was saying is, man, these are sheep. We're goats. Why are we, why are we mingling with these people? Why are we in this place? This is low level, man. They're eating low to the ground. We eat high to the ground. Now, I consciously, I consciously made that choice to eat low to the ground at, at different times, you know, different weekends. I consciously chose this. And really, man, when you look at the goat, the goat, the goat will and can graze like the sheep. But if given a choice, it would choose to browse, to eat high off the ground, to eat at the top layer of the plant if given a choice. But it will survive, right? If not given that choice to eat high off the ground, it's going to do what it has to do. It'll go ahead and graze. I had a choice back then, and I chose, I chose to graze instead of browse. That was my choice, you know, and I learned from that situation. And I'm not saying I hadn't taken steps back through that process, right? But I do know right from wrong. I do know my worth. And like I said, man, I'm not degrading the sheep, the sheep has a purpose. The sheep produces wool. The goat has hair. I love wool. But it kind of stops there, right? I got to go with the goat on every other thing. But we are attached to people that are stunning our purpose, our mission, our growth. Because we won't just deal with what it is, look at it for what it is, recognize who we are, recognize who they are, and say, you know what? This purpose, this mission is greater than this emotional cord uh, that we're attached to. It's greater than that. This purpose, this mission is greater than the time we've known each other. Because we're just not equally yoked. I can't be in this environment. I have to be amongst goats. I cannot be a goat and be amongst sheep. And the sheep should not want to be amongst goats. It's because it's going to be a fish out of water. The sheep operates on a whole different level, man. And, 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 and the goat operates on a whole higher level. And the sheep is going to be insecure because it can't keep up. And it's going to say the goat is arrogant. The goat thinks it's all that. The goat, the goat is, uh, you know, what's the, what's the popular term they're using? You know, toxic. 
You know, the goat is a narcissist. All because it thinks differently. It moves differently. It has a certain amount of confidence. It eats at the top layer of the plant and not at the bottom layer. It's independent and curious. We don't belong together. You don't belong with certain people. And you know that. We really got to get a grasp of this, man. Get a grasp of this. Focus. Be disciplined. And the purpose, the mission has to oversee emotion or time or relation. It has to. That's more important, man. The purpose and the mission is more important. We can keep eating low level if we want to, man. We'll never get to where we're supposed to get to, ever. Just want y'all to think about that, man. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sheep and goats. As always, toasters, from me to you, love, peace.